Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another Toddy Walnuts unboxing video slash update video. Um, I got a little bit of physical media here that's piling up, and I wanted to do a little update video to keep some content going on my channel. I, I got a couple titles from Code Red. I got some pretty nice box sets from Arrow. I'm really excited about that. I got a couple titles from Disney. I got some vinyl I want to show you guys, and I got a collectible figure, action figure, I guess you want to call it, or kind of like a, you know, I'm not really sure what these are called, a collector's model, and I will show that last. I'm pretty excited about that. I got a really good deal on that. So before I get into my pickups for the past week or two, I wanted to give a shout out to a channel. And this is actually a channel that I've watched several hours of. And uh, a couple of days ago, he subbed to me and I was over the moon. I, I mean, he made my my week, basically. Um, anytime you watch a YouTuber for, you know, an extended period of time and they subscribe to you, it's it's pretty, pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. I was uh, I was humbled and flattered and... So I would like to give a shout out to this gentleman. His channel is called Curious World. And he does short documentaries of that will, you know, make the hair on the back of your neck stand up. It's the kind of stuff that you want to watch at night with the lights out. A lot of it is uh, the macabre, true crime, paranormal. Um, he's a British gentleman and he narrates these little short documentaries that he puts together. He edits them very very well I mean they're they're really well done and uh, like I said I, I watched this guy for hours so you know anytime somebody subscribes to my channel or comments it doesn't matter if they have a huge channel or a, a small channel uh, it makes me happy I, you know I'm happy to see that stuff so you know if you're a, a new viewer and uh, you want to subscribe to the channel p please feel free to do so if you want to leave, leave a couple thumbs up um, you know, I always do appreciate that. So, Curious World, if you're watching, thank you for the subscribe, and uh, thanks for the endless hours of content that you've put out that I've enjoyed. And hopefully some of my subscribers will go and check your channel out. So, very highly recommended. So, let's get into the pickups here. This is The first one is Blood Feast. This is a Herschel Gordon Lewis film. I own this film several different times. I have the two different box sets that Arrow Video put out. I picked this one up from, from fellow YouTuber uh, T-Money86, who is Turi. And he sold this to me for a really cheap price. And I just wanted to pick it up. Just to have it in the collection as the standalone edition of Blood Feast. This is probably my favorite HGL film. And this is the Blu-ray DVD combo. The first one there is the Blu-ray. Second is the DVD. And it does have a reversible cover, which is not a bad cover, but I, I do prefer the new commissioned art there. And it does have some special features. With the newly commissioned art by the Twins of Evil, this is all region ABC, and it is unrated. And I'm not going to get into all of the special edition contents, but if you want to pause it here and check that out, please feel free. It says it has a vintage 1959 short film featuring Blood Feast star Bill Kerwin, which was called Carving Magic. So that's a, a bonus feature on here. Plus you get outtakes, you get an alternate clean scenes. A reversible sleeve, which we saw already, so... Just wanted to pick this up as a standalone edition, and for the price I paid, it was really, really cheap. Turi hooks me up and gives me really good deals, being the great collector and friend that Turi is. So thank you again for this, T-Money. 
always a pleasure to buy stuff from you because I know it's going to be legit and it gets here quick in good condition and it's always in really good uh, I think I said that already good condition but to me good condition is the most important if you're going to be a collector and you're going to buy this stuff condition is everything so uh, let's get into the Disney titles that I picked up next and the first one is a Disney website exclusive and this is the twin billing of Saludos Amigos and the Three Caballeros, or the Three Caballeros. Um, these are both Disney films from the 60s, I believe. These are the 75th anniversary edition. Of, um, let me see. It can't be from the 60s then. Let me see. This is... Um, it's a brand new 2018 release from the Disney Club. And like I said, you can only get this if you're a Disney Club member. I'm not really going to spend too much time looking for the years of these films. But apparently they were made 75 years ago. So glad to own that one. I do have that on both of those on DVD. The next one is Lady and the Tramp. This is the Walt Disney Signature Collection Digibook. This was a Target exclusive. And I ordered this online, thinking that these would sell out. They always do sell out really quick, the Digibooks, 32 page storybook that comes with the movie. You get the Blu-ray DVD and the digital copy. But I was just in Target again today. I had to pick up some supplies for some uh, home re renovation projects I got going on. I was just picking up some some cleaners and stuff like that. And um, they still had quite a few of these on the shelves. So if you guys are interested in this one, you might want to go pick it up quick. Because when these do sell out, they do go for ridiculous money. <coughs> so there you can see some of the bonus features that they have. I'm not going to open this up just now on camera, but I just wanted to kind of show that off. I got these two Disney titles over the past couple weeks. Uh, I think I'll go into the Code Red titles. I got two of those. These came out over the past week or so. And this first one is Almost Human. And this is a double dip for me. I did have the, or I do have the Shameless DVD edition. Shameless put this out in two different covers. There was um, a regular cover and then the second one was a harder to get lenticular cover. And this is a Henry Silva and Tomas Melian film. And this is a Euro crime. Tomas Melian is like a psychopath killer in this film. And this does have quite a bit of special features. You get a brand new interview with Umberto Lenzi, who was the director. You get Like a Beast, Almost, interview with Lenzi. Also stars Ray Lovelock and Gino Santercole and writer Ernesto Gastaldi. And there's some other stuff on there, so you can check that out. This is All Region. Code Red has really been doing a good job with their stuff lately. This is Spy Number 160, for those of you who are interested in that. And I'm very glad to upgrade this to Blu-ray from the Shameless DVD. And the second one is also an upgrade. I do have the Code Red DVD of Spasms, which sold out pretty quick. And then it went out of print. And it was going for... It was pretty big bucks. At least on the secondary markets it was. And this is Spasms, kind of a creature feature snake film. Starring Peter Fonda and Oliver Reed. This is actually a good one. This is uh, Spy Number 300. A lot of these creature feature films from like the drive-in days are kind of, you know, eh, middle of the road. This one's actually pretty good. I, I do enjoy this one. It does have some pretty good practical effects. And it has a pretty good looking uh, rubber snake. So let me pop into this and we'll take a look and see some of the other special features or, I mean, if it has like a booklet or a reversible cover, I'm not even sure. I haven't watched any unboxings of this. I, I've been pretty scarce on YouTube lately. I've been watching other stuff. Haven't really been spending a whole lot of time in the movie community. I've been watching channels like Curious World. 
So, and again, I really recommend you guys go check that out. So there's the disc art. And there is the original cover, and that's what the DVD looks like right there. So that's pretty cool. And I'm not sure why this is Spine 300 when they're only on, like, I think they're on 160-ish. So I'm not exactly sure why, what their, uh, their method is of counting the Spine numbers, but that is number 300. <coughs> the next one I picked up a Western from Kino. <coughs> and this is called Valdez is Coming, starring Burt Lancaster. And the little tagline at the top says, they tore his body, they buried his pride, but they forgot to, or they forgot his Sharps rifle and his buffalo gun. And this is a Western from 1971. It was produced by Roland Kibbe, and it was directed by Edwin Sharon. So I'm looking forward to checking this one out. If you guys wanted to um, read the synopsis, pause it there and check that out. It does have an audio commentary with film historian Jim Hempel and an original trailer. And it is Region A. So that is uh, Valdez is coming. And then just today I picked this up. I heard a lot of good things. A lot of my friends on Facebook were talking about this movie. It's called Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri, and it won a bunch of Academy Awards, including Best Picture. And uh, it stars Francis McDormand and Woody Harrelson and Sam Rockwell. And I'm kind of going into this blind, but just um, I briefly know a little bit about the film. It's about uh, this mother. Her, her daughter was murdered, and it seemed like the cops in the town were not doing much about it, so she's kind of digging and doing her own investigating and I guess she's putting her nose in areas that maybe she shouldn't be or at least that's what some of the police think and she gets to the bottom. I don't want to know any more than that and uh, I'm looking forward to checking this out. So three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. If you guys have seen this or seen any of these Go ahead and comment down below. Let me know what you thought of them without giving too many spoilers away. Okay, the I go through my little arrow pile. I got three titles, but they're pretty good pickups in my opinion. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just getting over a cold, so I still have a little bit of a cough, and I apologize about the coughing, so kind of just bear with me here. The first one is Carrie. I bought this gently used on eBay, and I got it for $25 shipped, so I thought that was a steal. I didn't really have plans to pick this one up because I do have the deluxe edition from Scream Factory. But I thought for the price I found this, I might as well snatch it up and it would give me another reason to do a comparison video between Scream Factory and Arrow Video for the carry editions. So keep an eye out for that down the road. But um, another excellent edition here by Arrow Video. Comes in with a nice little hardcover slip box. And you can see there are the limited edition contents and that huge paragraph of extras and bonus features. I'm not going to go through everything. I'm sure this has been unboxed a million times already. Comes with a beautiful thick book, which it has, I would guess, uh, it's about 35 pages, I would say. So just to kind of quickly flip through it. Yeah. Very, very nice. And it still has that nice new smell, even though this was used. And to get it 25 shipped, I feel like I got a, a really good bargain on that one. And it also comes with a pretty nice size poster. This is actually, I bet you this is probably the size of a theatrical poster, it feels like. Maybe not. This is probably about the size of a Scream Factory poster, which is what are they, those about 18 by 27 or something like that. And there is one side of the poster and the other side has the newly commissioned art. And let me see if I can take a look who did that art. I 
don't want to waste too much time looking for that, and I, and I don't see it right away. I'm not sure who the artist was who did the artwork here. But it looks really good. I, I love that image. And then you got the Amaray case. And this is a Blu-ray only. And there's the disc. And you get the two choices, same as the poster. You get that image or that image. And then you get a art card with some of the previous releases. And this one is Stormy Monday. A little advertisement for an upcoming Arrow film. And then you also get some art cards here. Let's see what these are. I haven't even really looked at these yet. Okay, so you have just scenes from the film. And on the back of each card, it just says carry like that. So I'm not going to flip all of those over. Very nice high quality image, images though. These are really glossy and, and really sharp. Really nice quality. So that is a really nice addition. And I'm pretty sure this is now out of print. So if you're looking for this, if you haven't if you didn't get a chance to pick this up right away like I didn't, I passed on it. Like I said, I was I was pretty happy with the Screen Factory edition, but for 25 bucks you get this nice little box set. I, I just couldn't pass it up. So there, that's what it looks like when all the contents are housed in the slip box. Really beautiful edition. So that is another home run from Arrow Video. The next two are still sealed and I'm not going to open these just now on this video but this is John Carpenter's The Thing. This one is out of print. I didn't get this one right away so I did have to pay a little extra. I'm not going to tell you guys what I paid for this but <coughs> it wasn't too bad what I paid for it but it was definitely higher than what these were going for when they first were released. But again, you get a brand new 4K restoration of the film and you get all of these bonus features that would take hours to watch all of them. Man is the warmest place to hide. I always thought that was a great tagline. And again, just like the carry edition, you get the nice hardcover slip box and you get the Amaray case. I believe you do get a poster. It looks like there's a poster in there at the top and then there's a nice book, probably 35 to 40 page book. So there's the spine. And then my most recent Arrow pickup. This just came in the mail a couple days ago. This is Dario Argento's The Cat O Nine Tales. This is the Region A. I know Region B came out a couple months ago, but Region A just dropped last week, I think. And I believe this might be sold out already. I'm not exactly sure. But you do get some really nice limited edition contents again a 4k restoration of the film i don't know how many times i own this movie this is a good one though it's a very good argento film i think i own it on blu-ray about four or five times maybe between uh, blue underground and then arrow also had the slip window edition and i think i have a couple of german media books so those are my three Arrow video box sets, and they're almost all exactly the same as far as size. Here, I'll kind of show you. That's one thing I really like about Arrow is they keep everything kind of uniform. These are all very much similar in size and quality. And they all have a book, and it's just a really, really nice additions to the collection. So those were the three Arrow box sets. I guess that brings us now to the vinyl that I picked up over the past week. This was a re-release from Waxwork. This is Day of the Dead. This is the second time this has been released by Waxwork. The first time it sold out right away. I believe it was kind of a greenish gray for the wax, for the uh, LP. 
and I think this time it's a blood spatter. So we're gonna open this up on camera. We'll go through the innards, and uh, then I just have one more movie and one, I guess, like collector's figure I wanna show you guys, and then we'll wrap the video up. So let's see if I can get this open with one hand. There we go. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna have to pull the plastic right off because this is a gatefold. Okay. So there is the image on the front, and of course this is George A. Romero's classic, Day of the Dead. This is probably my third favorite in the Dead series. I like uh, Dawn of the Dead and Night of the Living Dead, the original. And then this is probably number three, but you can see there's some classic, iconic images from the film. There's Bub, one of the most iconic characters in horror film history, in my opinion. So let's see if I can pull this out. And here is record number one. And you can see that it is, I think they call this blood swirl or blood spatter. It's kind of like a reddish purplish kind of a translucent color and then it has staining, like blood stains or blood spatter in the middle of it, which is really cool. And I'm not gonna attempt to put that back in on camera, I'll just wait until after the video and I'll put all that stuff back. There's an art print, which we will look at next. And it's that little, supposed to look like that the newspaper in the beginning of the film when you see all the trash on the streets and the streets are empty the alligator comes pouring out with the uh, tape across his mouth <laughs> but this is the um, a little write-up on the film uh, and the uh, release here on the LP this is the the dead walk day of the dead newspaper clipping so that's a nice little touch to add, I think. I like that. Let's see if we can get this other record out. It's not as easy as it looks to do all this stuff with one hand. But you get kind of accustomed to it after a while. You know, it's like a challenge and, and you just try to keep everything moving on camera. Try to make the video still interesting. And it's, it's the exact same color. I didn't know if it was two different colors. So it's basically just the same color as the other one. And then here's what the outside of the record jacket looks like, the gatefold. So this one is still available. I, I know Dawn of the Dead sold out right away. I was lucky, really, really lucky to get one when I did. I pre-ordered it. And I think... It sold out during pre-order and I looked on eBay and Day of the Dead is going for anywhere from $120 to $200, which is ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. This one, however, it was uh, re-released and it's still available on the Waxwork Records website. And I think it's only $36 bucks plus shipping. And I think with shipping, it comes to about $42. So, you know, I mean, it is a little pricey, but it, these are collectible. So you got to kind of, you know, figure that. I mean, these sound really good too. These LPs sound really, really good. So if you want a piece of collectible film history, um, I recommend going to Waxwork and picking this up. And if you missed out on Day of the Dead, I wouldn't worry too much because they do tend to re-release some of the titles that sold out right away. So keep your eye out for a re-release of Dawn of the Dead if you haven't had a chance to get the original. And the last movie that I picked up, this is a Scream Factory title. And this is a documentary called 7852, Hitchcock's Shower Scene. And this ties into the last piece that I'm going to show you guys, the uh, next little collectible piece that I picked up. 
and this is 78 shots and 52 cuts that changed cinema forever. And it has a bunch of stars and directors and producers who contributed to this documentary. You can see some of the names there. Jamie Lee Curtis, Guillermo del Toro, Bogdanovich, Danny Elfman, Mick Garris, Elijah Wood, and more. And this is an IFC Midnight release through Scream Factory. And it's a Blu-ray DVD combo. It's Region A. And it is anamorphic widescreen. The running total is 92 minutes. And it just says here at the top, I'll, I'll read along if you guys want to follow along with it. It says the screeching strings, the plunging knife, the slow zoom out from a lifeless eyeball. In 1960, Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho changed film history forever with its taboo-shattering shower scene. With 78 camera setups and 52 edits over the course of two minutes, Psycho redefined scream violence. That's screen violence, not scream violence set the stage for decades of slasher films to come and introduced a new element of danger to the movie-going experience, aided by roster of filmmakers, critics, and fans, including Del Toro. Um, I'm not going to name all the people. Um, it says, uh, back, pulls back the curtain on the making of and influence of the cinematic game changer, breaking it down frame by frame and unpacking Hitchcock's dense web of illusions and double meanings. The result is an enthralling piece of cinematic detective work that is pure nirvana for film buffs. And you do get some special features. There's an extended interview with Walter Murch, extended interview with Del Toro, Stabbing Melons with Alexandra O. Felipe, and theatrical trailer. So I'm going to crack this open or attempt to with one hand. And I'm just curious to see if there's anything on the inside of this one, being that it was released by Screen Factory. Sometimes they do have images on the inside of the cover, and it does. It has a, uh, there's the DVD on the left, the Blu-ray on the right, and there's um, <clears throat> the sign for the Bates Motel pool in the background. So that's pretty cool. Looking forward to getting into this one. I do love documentaries. I like to watch these at night before bed and kind of chill, get in chill mode. So definitely looking forward to checking out 7852 Hitchcock shower scene. And finally, for this interview, or this interview, I don't know what I'm talking about right now, for this uh, update video, I picked up from, this has been sold out through Mondo, I believe. There may be some on their website, but I bought this second market, secondary market on eBay and this is the Mondo Alfred Hitchcock figure. So I just wanted to show you guys my 12-inch Hitchcock. Um, if I can show you without the glare. There you see his little director slate. And this is a really, really nice likeness of Hitchcock. I was thinking about pulling this out and showing you guys. I was going to pull out my Hitchcock and show you guys my, my big 12-inch Hitchcock but uh, I'm just going to leave it in the box here. You can see you can change his hands. He's got a couple of cigars that you can put in the hands or to kind of accessorize him. He's wearing his black shoes and his black clothes. It's like a black suit with black tie. And if I can get in there and show you guys my Hitchcock. Yeah, that's a very, very nice likeness of Hitchcock. It also has the black crow or the Black Raven. And there's some other stuff in the background. I think there's a chair, I think there's a director's chair that you can actually put together and he can sit in the chair. And it also has a butcher knife right there. So this is a really, really nice piece. I wanted to pick this up when Mondo was first selling it. I think they were selling it for about 180, 190 bucks. And I paid less than that for this on eBay. The seller said that there was some light wear on the some light shelf wear I think he put it on the box but it looks really good to me it's a little dusty maybe I can probably clean that up a little bit but there you see the Mondo logo and there, there might be a little bit of light shelf wear but I don't really care about that I mean for the price that I got this for it's called a 1 6th scale which is about 12 inches so that was my 
was my uh, update for the last couple weeks. So these kind of go well together, I thought. And I may even unbox this and display it. I haven't decided yet. I, I did buy a shelf in my bedroom. And I'm thinking about taking all my collectible figures out of the package and, and kind of uh, display them on a shelf. I haven't decided yet. And I did <clears throat> put up some of my Scream Factory posters. Just want to kind of show you guys what I put up just recently. I put these up with the um, temporary little hooks that you can put on the wall, the 3M sticky hooks, where you just pull them and they can come right off. Because I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to keep these up here, but just to kind of pan and show you guys which ones that I did decide to keep. At one time I had all of the posters from Scream Factory and I ended up selling almost all of them. I just didn't really care much for the posters and these are the ones I decided to keep. And I don't know what I'm going to do with these yet still. So do a quick little recap and then we'll close the video out. But I want to encourage you guys to please go check out Curious World. And Curious World, if you're watching, thank you for subscribing to my channel. It meant a lot to me. And if anybody else is watching and they haven't subscribed, please feel free to do so. Give me a comment down below so I can interact with you guys. And uh, that's what this is all about. So there we have it, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care, and I will see you in the next video.